what's going on, man. What's good? Time for some breakfast. A lot of y'all don't know nothing about this. This real fat boy shit right here. I don't know. Gotta go get your honey bun. It don't matter really you know, how fresh it is, but you want to get at least a nice fresh one. You feel me? And then you want to grab this right here. You see this right here? The creamy peanut butter. Yeah, what I got? What up? Meat, my man, meat low. What's happening with it, low? Hey, low, if this ain't something you probably want to be watching, low, this some real fat nigga shit right here, low. Yeah. So I got the honey bun. I got the honey bun. I'm going to put the peanut butter on there. I got the creamy peanut butter spreading all over it. You know what I'm talking about? Woo. Woo. Hold on. Let me get some more peanut butter. Ooh. Say man, shout out to Kings of Cali, man. It's the anniversary, man. Just me, uh, just me, one, two, <laughs> level right here. This mic will get ten seconds. This one you ain't gonna have to put in the microwave, Quan. This one don't need no microwave. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing, man. I got my other little spot. Okay, so I got the honey bun ready, right? Whoa, let me show you. Knock this all out. Peanut butter done. Put this peanut butter back up. What up, Chris? What up, Michael? Ken Folk, what up? Diamond Diaz. What's up with it, man? What else I got on here? Got a bunch of folks on here. Rock Boy, Quartz. Say, man, y'all share this video. What up, Scrib? Hey, this some real fat boy shit right here, Scrib. What up, Cousin Renee? Ronald, what up with it, man? Hey, Renee, did you get to see some of the videos from yesterday? I kind of laid the family out there a little bit yesterday, Renee. Um, uh, Chris. So anyway, make sure y'all share the video, man. Okay. So I got my honey bun, nice little honey bun, peanut buttered out. Alright. Set this right in the meat little. Real quick, bam. Set that in the middle of that. Go this away. Put this peanut butter up. Say, man, one thing I want y'all to know, too, man, is that there's a lot of stuff going on that sometimes people are not always talking about. I don't always tell you guys about everything that's going on in my life because sometimes it can just be a bit much. But there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes, man, that a lot of people are not talking about. Can y'all see that? Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. So now I got this bowl right here. I'm going to mix these together. Hold on. I'm going to mix these together. And I'm on my little diet, too. No, 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 Punch, I got something else, Punch, I'm going to show you. But I got the, that's the honey bun with the peanut butter on there. Hold on, I got to add this one last ingredient, man. What's some real fat nigga shit, though, Punch? Caesar, what up with it? Nobby, what up with it? Scrib, what up? Nigga going and licked it. <laughs> I ain't scrib, I would, but I'm scared I might cut my little tongue. And I need that, baby, to get that bread. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I can't have that hurt in no kind of way, man. Yeah. Toya, what up with it? Yeah, I'm saying, man. So I'm doing my little listen. So this is my breakfast. This, 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 listen. This the breakfast of fat people. Fat. This the fat nigga breakfast, man. All right. So I got that all basically stirred up, mixed. So now, now you got your peanut. You got your honey bun with your peanut butter on. It. And this is what you call the oatmeal. So because I'm on a diet, I'm not putting no sugar or nothing in the oatmeal because I'm on a diet. So 
you're going to take that and you slowly pour that over the honey bun. Oh, my goodness. You see that? Oh, my goodness. You see how that's pouring out? Oh, yeah. Now, again, you don't need no sugar. You know, when I was fat, still didn't eat that shit. Hamburgers and tacos. So anyway, man, you, hey man, hey, get that new motor, so yeah, so you can get out here. Hey man, I'm trying, man. They, they, I just talked to them today, man. They waiting on the adjuster to come out and approve the new motor. They gotta, they claiming it's a lot they gotta do. They gotta stop the production line and put a new. They don't, they don't have no 103 sitting around. I told them I take a 107 for the free free. I'm not gonna pay the upgrade, and I already paid for that. Hey man, yeah. So anyway, because I'm on a diet. I'm not adding no sugar to the oatmeal. It's just going to be the all-natural oatmeal. Now, these are the instant oatmeal packs with the flavor. So, I got the maple brown sugar mixed with the apple cinnamon mixed, poured on top of the honey bun. You feel what I'm saying? With the peanut butter on it. So, you're going to let that marinate and rinse out your other bowl. You know what I'm saying? You don't want nobody to have to wash this because you eat. You know what I'm saying? So, let me rinse out this other bowl. Yeah, anyway, man, so that's what we're doing, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's that. Hold on. One more thing. Some of y'all can't do this at all, but I can, so I don't want to get you with it. Yeah, Now, mind you, this type of meal requires a big spoon. You can't use no little spoon. You got to use a big spoon for this one. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, no, sir. Check this out. Now, you always top that off. See, now, this is the part that a lot of y'all can't do. So, depending on where you're at in your diet, the way you're at in your life, some of y'all can use 2% milk. Um, uh, you know what I'm saying? Some of y'all can use 2% milk. But me, I, I still drink whole milk. You know what I'm saying? So I'm still drinking whole milk, so I don't have those, you know, flagellate lactose problems. You feel what I'm saying? With your raccoon. <laughs> I might be, whatever it is, but whatever it takes to get the job done, but see dog, what up with it, baby? My man C Dog go here, my man Willie Singleton on here. So anyway, this is the real breakfast of Fat Niggas Champions. Okay. So now I got breakfast out the way. Say you like little prayer, you feel what I'm saying? You always want to bless the food. And make it official. Got to give thanks, man, for somebody to bless you to even have some some vittles and some morsels. You feel what I'm saying? So, Father God in heaven, I thank you for allowing me to be able to do what I do, for allowing me to be able to partake in the stuff that you've created here on this earth. I ask that you bless it, keep it nutritious, and help keep me slim and trim. You feel what I'm saying? In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, boom, just bless the food. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's what we got going on, buddy. You feel what I'm saying? So now, let's get into this positivity, man. Listen, I, I heard something yesterday, well, a couple, a, a couple of days ago, man, from my man, Country Wayne. And he was speaking on our souls. What up with it, Willie? What up, Deborah? What up, Tracy? He was speaking on our souls. Me, a lot of people you see on here, my man, Punchy, Floyd Tremor, um, me, we always preach, man, just be happy, man. Live life, man. Ride your motorcycle, man. Live life. Get money, man. You know what I'm saying? Get money. Chase bras. If you're married, love your wife. Whatever it is, just just be happy with doing it, man. We preach that stuff all the time. But one thing that he added to, to, what, to what we've been preaching, punching, is he added that a lot of people's souls are not right. A lot of people don't know how to be positive or don't know how to preach love or don't know how to be loving people or whatever because it's deep down in their soul is rotten and it's corrupted you feel what i'm saying and i ain't never thought about that and when he said it it kind of really kind of just like shook some shit up in me man what up dylan slim and trim my nigga love you, bro. <laughs> hey it is what it is man and i'm and uh hopefully i'm still trying to get out there punching ain't looking good but i'm still trying to get out there man for my man kings of cali weekend I saw y'all over at the nest yesterday. But anyway, one thing we got to do, man, is we got to cleanse our soul. You feel what I'm saying? Ain't nothing burning. I just made some oatmeal. 
Mm -hmm. I gotta put that butter back in there, yeah. Hold on one second. What am I? So anyway, what's in your soul, man? What do we have that's in our soul? All them that got fucked up souls, tell them to kill themselves. On oh, my mama, tell Queen. I <laughs> when he said it, man, it just kind of rocked me, man. When we talk about what's in your soul, and the thing about it too is this: is that you can save your soul. You you still got time to save your soul. You still got time to. Uh, Hey, mama, they talking about you smelling my honey bun. I ain't hiding no honey. She know what's up in there, baby. She know how I get out, baby. Anyway, a lot of us, a lot of y'all still got time to say your soul. Let me tell you something, man. Do you know how much energy it takes to be negative? What up, Angela? You know how much energy it takes to be, to be mean, to be, to just be ugly, to even make a frown, okay? But when you think about what's in your soul, when you think about it, just, just imagine if, Somebody could just open you up and just read your soul, read your DNA, read your makeup. What would they really read? Now, you could tell us what you want to tell us. You could show us what you want to show us. But the shit that we can't see, the shit that we don't want to know, and the shit that's deep, deep down up in there, what if that was able to be read? Mm. Mama Punchy said, hey. He on the video. She said, hey. Yeah, what if that was able to be read, Ma? Let me ask you a question, Ma. Ma, uh -huh. come here. Let me ask you a question. What's up? Do well, how much of how much of a positive soul is needed in life? How much of a positive your soul. soul. What, what, what what part does your soul play in life? Your soul. Your soul is shit in your life, so it should play a big part of it. Your soul. Yeah. Deep down, like what they say, deep down in your soul. Yeah, that should be your basis. So is that part? Life. Does that have to do like with your characteristics, your traits, your your habits, or? It should be. It should have something. To me, it should have something to do with all, only because your soul is what's going to. Uh, that's what the, the father looks at when you believe this earth and stuff, and that's what goes up to uh, you know back to him. Okay. Your soul. So your soul. That should play a part in all in everything that you do. Your soul. Your characteristics, your attitude, your your uh, your, your truth, your lies, all that is to play. All that is part of your soul. It's connected to your soul. It comes, I think so. It's all DNA of your soul? I think okay. so. Okay. Your, your character. What up, Fran? What up, Eric? What up, Jerry? Or the soul. You all, boy, Terry, you ain't going to miss a beat to try to drop your little old thing on here, man. This is not the right time to be dropping. Yeah. Let me see. Hey, punching. Let me get my man Punch on here real quick. Come on here with me real quick, Punch. Where you at, Punch? Let me see. Where you at? Puncherella, Puncherella, Puncherella. Toya. Oh, Floyd. Punchy, I can't get you to join, huh, Punchy? Okay, I'm going to get Punch on here, man. Anyway, but when he said that, man, that, it kind of struck my soul. Because if a person could really see who you were just imagine man if god created us oh there you go what up punk hey hey what is that shit hey this the fly shit man i'm turning you on to some shit punch you know what i'm talking about i ain't never seen that before yeah everybody can see you too hey man y'all say hi to punchy man y'all let punchy know y'all see him man you know what i'm saying with his name you in there on the shit or so we got on the shit yeah i'm taking the shit hey look I'm in lockdown right now, nigga. Four, six, two, nigga. My last three, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, hey, look. One thing I know, bro. Yeah. When niggas get our age, when these niggas get our age, homie, they are, they not gonna change because they don't know how. Nigga, they've been <laughs> shitty so long, nigga. They don't know how to not be shitty. But you don't think something can happen to them, punch you, or they can just be around good niggas that'll change them like that, though? Oh uh, no, nah. it got to be something that happened to them for them. 
Man, you know, niggas only look for God, nigga, when something bad happened. Yeah, yeah. Something bad got to happen to these niggas, man. We in the fourth quarter, homie. It, it, after this, all we got is a couple more overtimes. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. If they change, they ain't going to change, bro. They ain't going to change. Well, one of the things, only things, things that a person actually can hate. One of the things that a person asked me, though, Punch, was, say, oh, how do y'all, like, when, you know, how do y'all just stay clowning all the time? What about when, when y'all go through stuff? I said, we go through stuff all the time, but who got time to sit up and be worried about the stuff that he can't change or he can't fix, man? Hey, man. If, 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 you know what the old dude told me, homie? You got a choice. You can keep on living. You can just blow your shit off. Boom, nigga. Two, get, get two ones <laughs> off. Boom, boom. You, can, you yeah. can end it now. Nigga, I go through shit all the time, homie. I just, you know what I try to do, man, on everything, homie? I could be mad for five or ten minutes, and I tell myself, shake it off, nigga. It's nothing. <laughs> nigga, fuck it. You'll get that money back. Don't trip. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And, and nigga, so I rock mine. I, it, it took a long time to get like that. Well, one of the things I tell people, too, is nothing wrong. Like I had to tell one of my partners, I tell Heavy D all the time, my man, Hev. It's nothing wrong with us having disagreements, even falling out sometimes or whatever. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, that's nothing. We grown men, so we got our opinions. We got, you know, we got what's instilled in us. You got what you learned. I got what I learned. And when we when we bump heads on that, we just, you know, we go at it and we let that go the next day. Let's go have lunch. Let's go have dinner. And we done with it, man. But where we come from, I think, I don't know, I, and, I, and I always try to say, that I don't want to make this thing a West Coast thing, because I always, I always say that we were brought up, we were raised different on the West Coast. You, you feel what I'm saying? On the West Coast, you ain't got time to hold on to no grudge or be mad at them nigga forever, because it's shit going to eat you up, or you're going to die trying to, to, to either hurt him or him trying to hurt you or something. I don't, I don't know, but it's just when different. You, when we was younger, we held on to a lot of shit, nigga. Cause it didn't matter if a nigga did something to you, no matter how long it took, nigga, you was gonna get him back. Yeah. And now, nigga, that grown homie, just say, just say, I've been a rare breed, nigga, since two thousand. So, okay. even before we was rare breeds, we was we was low riding real tough. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, all the niggas that we low riding against and with on the west side. Nigga was cool, but I always took my shit, nigga, to the east side. Nigga, I used to go hang out in the jungles, nigga, with all the bloods. I used to go in the 20s and hang out with them. Nigga, I used to go hang out in the Grape Streets with Hans. I used to go over there, nigga, and maul them neighborhood, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, with the Compton Avenues. Nigga, we go fuck with Fly them in the kitchens. Nigga, Big Dre and them in Gardena. Now, all these niggas out of name was niggas that none of my homeboys get along with. Yeah. But as we rolled and rolled and rolled and rolled, everybody start being friends and friends. Now, so the one common denominator we had back then was the cars. You know what I mean? Yeah. But at the same time, then we took the car shit to the bike shit. We did, you know? So yeah. once we did that, once you had that open mind that you can hang, how can I hang out with a nigga Saturday and Sunday? And then be mad at him Monday through Friday because he a blood and this nigga the crib or this whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or that nigga don't like you because you fucked his baby mama. But then on the weekend when y'all getting y'all low riders, y'all cool. So you you had to learn that. Nigga, bro, even, even brothers and sisters fight. You know? So brothers and sisters argue. Nigga, sons and mamas argue. Aunties argue. Everybody. So, but at the end of the day, if you... If you got love in your heart, homie, you'll forget that shit. Nigga, you, everybody look at our club and think it's all peaches and cream, but nigga, we all bump heads with each other, man, from the top to the bottom. But, yeah. nigga, niggas understand. Either you, if you want to be a part of it or you don't, you got a choice. You can roll or you don't, and you can stay. So, at the end of the day, you got to just be, you got to be able to look inside of you, nigga, and say, man, this what I want to do or this what I don't want to do. Why be mad, homie? You you ain't never tripped off. It's, it's hard to be mad at a nigga and easy to forgive a nigga. Know what I so said? who won't hold all their motherfucking life? Who always won't hard? Fuck hard. Yeah. That's why I be a lot of you niggas bitches. Because y'all want to be hard. All I'm going to do is smile. <laughs> nigga, I'm going to smile. Once I get your girl to smile with me, homie, I will be knocking her down if I choose to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh, 
all that being tough forever. Who wants to be tough? Nigga, I want to be able to walk outside and smile at everybody that want to smile at me. Nigga, I'm going to open the door for people. I'm going to speak to people. I ain't going to never say, oh, that nigga don't never speak to me. You know why? Because I'm going to speak to him first. I'm, when he walk around, if he don't say nothing, I'm going to say hi. Yeah. So to make you, you really can change people. I say you can't change people, but you can. You can change people, homie. When niggas hang out with positive people, nigga, they don't have no choice but to try to be positive, too. I don't give a fuck. They might act like they tough, but nigga, they gonna be on some positive shit too, nigga. I swear to God. I Ramona, Ramona say, but sometimes a person can do so much to you, just let it go. I will forgive, but I ain't, I ain't, I ain't fucking with you no more. And I mean, that's with anything though. Nothing wrong with that though. Ain't nothing what wrong up, with Lucky? that. What up, Luck? Big Lucky on here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see Flaco, Luck, yeah. nigga, Flaco talk, Flaco, 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 Flaco told you to put some clothes on and get it uh, and flush. He said, "Can we get a courtesy flush?" Hey man, so, all you niggas that been knowing me, homie, I'm untamed and uncut, homie. I went to Catholic school all my life, homie. I told y'all before, nigga, them priests, they the priests tried to get me, dog. I know they tried, but they I, they couldn't catch this fat nigga, homie. Nigga, I was juking, I bobbed with my weed. I had to curl back then too, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, but hey, on everything I love, y'all, I'm going to have me some fun till the day I die. Nigga, I, you, nigga, we, you know, we got our own page, too, and a lot of the club brothers been putting all our fallen brothers on there. And on some real shit, Sal, nigga, we probably got more dead club brothers than any club in the world, nigga. On some real but you, but, you know, but, but, but let me explain that, though. But let me explain that. What you got to understand is this, though. What you guys did was you y'all took gang banging and slowed it down. Y'all took gang banging, homie, and merged it with motorcycling to allow Bloods and Crips to kind of come together and to and what that did though, Punchy was allowed. Like for example, I'm just gonna throw some names out there because I can. I'm just gonna say that allowed Lucky to now know some of your partners that can that you can go back and say, hey man, when y'all see Big Luck, man, and his boys kind of you know cut them a little slack. You feel, and vice versa, all the way around the board. So real, what I tell a lot of people, man, with the West Coast, the motorcycle set on the West Coast, it ain't going to never stop gangbanging, but it at least kind of slowed it down or, or, or made it a little bit, a little, a little less maneuverable. You know, I don't know exactly if that's the right word, but, you, I, you know, you can elaborate on it. But that's what I feel that the bike set on the West Coast did, especially a lot of the big clubs, Rare Breed, Second to None, uh, uh, chop, you know, choppers, and then the OG clubs too. But I'm just saying, that's what y'all did. Y'all kind of took game banging, man, and kind of like just, you know, kind of slowed it down a little bit. You did, I mean, we did that. They got some real. I know we did that, still. I know in my heart, man. It, you got so many good dudes out here, man, in all these clubs, I mean, and, yeah. and all they have to do is really, if they try to really be club brothers and do club shit. Ain't nothing wrong with loving your neighborhood, but you will find yourself not going over there, not sitting over there. And, and every blue moon, you will get one of your homeboys that that was on some fuck, fuck, fuck everybody. And then when he come and see how much fun he had with all these niggas, and then two or three months down the line, he find out where the nigga from, he be like, damn. Nigga, I've been fucking with this nigga, and he from over there. And yeah. now you got a whole other outlook on shit. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's all the way different. It's all the way different. I know we've been having fun. We're going to keep on having fun. Nigga, your little chat lines and shit or the, or the, the FHOJC, every, every day FHOCP, whatever the fuck all the letters is you be using. <laughs> nigga, all that shit, nigga, is for some positive shit. And you know how I always tell you, nigga, shit. Nigga, see when I see you. If you niggas don't want to fuck with him, don't fuck with him. Period, nigga. You supposed to be ousted niggas, man. You know what I'm saying? Fuck you, Carly. Fuck you, Carly. talking about sell the bowl is empty. Nigga, I still got some in the bowl. Lucky say, Big Luck say, we saved thousands of lives out here by putting this thing together. I'm telling you, I agree. I, I tell people that all the time because you, Real, if, you're man. Not from, if you're not from the West Coast, if you're not, if you don't understand that, man, I told this the other day. I saw a dude die, man, over a, over a $3 fade in a dice game. 
right there. You feel what I'm saying? Over a three dollar misunderstanding in a dice game, my nigga. <laughs> he lost his whole life just over three dollars. You feel what I'm saying? Wasn't no prior, no prior hate or no prior animosity, wasn't no plot, wasn't no none of that. It was the three dollar dice game. It was a three dollar three dollars was showed on the dub or whatever. You know how they come show the money be out there and show it on the three dollars. He thought old boy had the three dollars or whatever. Oh man, that shit got that fast. I'm talking about that fast. So coming from where I come from, being born and raised, man, on the West Coast, Compton, I, you know, I don't want to, I wasn't trying to put that out there, but you you see it, man, and you realize as you get, like you say, once you maneuver through that, like going to school and being shot at on your way to school, you feel what I'm saying, or, or having to, you know, be make sure that it's eight or nine of us when we walk to school so that we can make it to school and walk home. You feel what I'm saying? So, I mean, I just... I just, like I said, I'm at a point, man, where, like you said, as we done got older, man, I just realized what it is, man, to be here, to, to realize what it is, man, to, to, to just be able to have friends. Like, even with all of the messed up stuff, punching with the bike set, everything I went through with my last organization and everything else, if, 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 if I was to hold on to that, I would miss the fact that I met Flacco, Smiley. Nate, you know what I'm saying? I would miss the fact that these is my friends and my partners and my pals. You know, I would miss that fact. So you got to take everything for what it's worth. This motorcycle shit, man, then then bridge gaps, man, to where we can go to the country. We can go to well, Arkansas, Texas. We can go to Louisiana. You, you know what I'm saying? And we got partners that's happy to see us and want to fuck with us. You know what I'm saying? So for me, for me, that's the part that I hold on to. I let go of all the other stuff, and I hold on to the positivity. That's what I'm telling you all today, man. Your soul, you have to understand this, man. It, it has to be in your soul. You got to find the goodness in your soul and bring it up, man, and let the shit go. Because I'm telling you, it ain't nobody. And I'm telling you right this, right now on camera, it ain't nobody that I'm mad at. It ain't nobody that I'm, I'm pissed off about. I don't even, if anybody mad at me, you can't even, you can't even tell me why. You can't even tell the people why you mad at me. And if you still going around preaching the same, oh, don't fuck with Cell, he's slimy, or he this or he that, that's just something that's within you, homie. Because you asked all of these cats that I mess with, and they'll tell you they love me on a whole different level. You feel what I'm saying? So I don't want thing I try not to do, and I try, I try to make sure I catch myself. When it's negative conversations about somebody that's not there, I try to end it, walk away, or just not even listen to it because I'm not going to let, I'm not, what, what kind of person am I to let you sit up and talk about Punchy and Punchy ain't there? Yeah, I'm going to call him a fat bastard and this and this and that or whatever we're going to go through, he's going to whatever, but that's because we, that's we it. earned it. Half these niggas, half these niggas, they sell half the dudes, half the dudes that, that talk about other niggas in bad ways. See, it'd it be different if you have opinions about shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It ain't nothing wrong with that. It ain't nothing wrong with having an opinion about what you think and all that. But when you get to the point where you fuck this nigga, fuck that nigga, fuck this nigga, fuck that nigga, you ain't nothing but a, a, a fuck boy. Yeah. See, that, that bullshit, man. See, it, it, like I say, man, if I can have an opinion about you and that's how I feel. Or if I don't like you, that's how I feel. But just because I don't like you, I should make everybody else don't like you. you know what yeah. 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 But you got to understand this too, though, Punchy, because this is what somebody told me. Okay. But this was somebody told me. They was like, but Sal, you got to understand this. Punchy being a reputable dude, if, if, if Punchy being a reputable dude, if Punchy say don't fuck with Sal, then we got to take that for what it's worth. You, you feel what I'm saying? I said, well, Punchy's a reputable dude and, and and, and Punchy might have said that, but did you ask him, you know, hey, Punchy, what's really going on with you and Cell? Because then you might understand that, you know, it, it might not have been how you interpreted it. You feel what I'm saying? Or it might not have been whatever it was it was, but, you know. But you, just because just Cell did something to me, nigga, don't mean uh, 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 Lucky's supposed to be mad at Cell. Yeah. You know? it, it just be different situations. Situations, bro. It be and that'd be different, nigga. If Seal did some real low down scandalous shit, that's different. But half the time, nigga, out here, nigga, living, nigga, we don't, we don't do a type shit. Bro.
he don't. Mm. It, 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 yeah. Man, you, you way out there. What the fuck can you do to me way out here that'll be so mad why I tell everybody don't fuck with that nigga? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It just, I don't know, man. I just, me, myself, homie, I try to do, I try to treat the motorcycle shit nigga like how, uh, like how my, my mama and my aunties and my uncles and my granny, nigga, all them raised us. Nigga, you know, and they all loved each other, nigga, no matter what, no matter what. And that, and that's how I try to get down with the motorcycle shit. The same motherfucking way, homie. I just I just think it's so easy for us to be dead where a nigga can overlook a lot of shit, man. If niggas I'm wake up, if niggas just start watching TV, nigga, they'll figure it out, nigga. Because, nigga, all you got to do is watch Rosewood, one of them motherfucking movies. Yeah. And you'll be like, why in the fuck don't niggas stand with each other? Mm. It's all, we always outnumber everybody. But ni a nigga rather hate on Marcel, nigga, than watch your show. Yeah. Just keep it yeah. in a hundred, nigga. Shit, nigga, you, yeah. you go places, nigga, you, you really don't hold no punches. You always say, man, who gonna put me in a room, man? Nigga, who, who flow can I come <laughs> sleep on? It, Period. You ain't out on no slicks, man. I sure wish I had a place to stay. I wished it. No, nigga, you tell a nigga straight out, nigga. Man, who, nigga, who want to get me a room, nigga, when I get to motherfucking uh, Alaska? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, it, but that's just you. Man. I tell you all the time, you better not change, nigga. Here you go, right here, right there, Dad. Punch you on the phone, Dad. Punch. Yeah, big punch on there. What hey. up? <laughs> How you doing? How's everything going, man? Punch. Hey, Seth. Yeah. Who's that, your daddy? That's Pop, man. What up, Pop? I'm in the shower, man. You going multitask, man. I'm doing everything, Pop. <laughs> <laughs> what you been up to, man? Shit, I ain't been doing shit, man. Well, you should have got me Slick Rick performing this weekend at the Kings of Cali. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, you should have came by here, man. Uh, you stopped in the zombies when you were down here, man. You came in and got out. Punch. Hold on, Sarah, hold on. Okay. <laughs> so what is the man saying? Oh, he went out. Did he go back? It might have went out already. It might have went down. All right, so what we got? Kevin Bree, Cali say. Kevin Bree, Cali, Kevin Scott say. But still, we are grown now. It took a long time for brothers and sisters to get to this point. Don't you think we as a bike set nationally have to help those young cats in these communities set, see a different side of life? One thing I'm going to tell you about helping these youngsters, Kev, some on will. What up with it, my man? Oh, my man, Daryl Kemp on here. I'm at Rat Shop. He about to run a lean on the Impala. He need to get here ASAP. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, uh, Durst say they about to run a lean on the Impala, big homie. What, what you doing? You want to hit me back when you get done? Say what pops at? He right here. We can't see you in the dark. Where you at in the dark? Shit, what pops go? He right here. He's peanuts, man. Pop, what up, Pop? Huh? It's only about a pound load. It's not super empty or nothing like that. So um, why is it not getting no air? What? Because it's low. Oh, that's it? Yeah. <laughs> but it's only about a pound load instead of being empty, like I was saying, you know, to replace the coil. You know, they usually cost around eight or nine hundred bucks, even with American owned field. Okay. So they're free on one pound, sixty five dollars. So the, and that's a sixty day guarantee on that too. So if it does leak back out and we have to replace the coil, you don't pay for any more refrigerant. I got you. So what about? Did you want to look at the switch two pop? So how are we leaking refrigerant? How are we leaking refrigerant? We don't know. Um, 
Well, I mean, it's just it's not very low, so it's going to be a microscopic leak somewhere. You yeah. Know? Um, it could be. A, I looked outside. I didn't see any leaks at the Schrader core or nothing like that. Yeah. More than likely, it's ninety percent of the evaporator core down there. So how because much? It's according to. I mean, I can write it up to replace the coil, but like I said, it just costs a lot more money. A lot of times you put the free on in it, you'll be good for another year or two. If it's not, then like I said, it's 60 days. Okay. Period on, since with your warranty company. So what he said, you so just replace the free on, and then if we know if we go out again, then we definitely know it's the evaporator cord. Okay. So then, what I recommend is yeah. the price difference, and like I said, if it does go out, it actually saves you all. Free on, you know? I got you, because then they had to put it back in there for free anyway. Yeah. But what about the? Did you still want to change the switch, pops? Nothing that switch ain't working. That switch is bad. But you said if you can, if you can prove it ain't working, that's under the insurance, yeah. right? Well, it's not working. You know? well, I turned it on. Work. Yeah. All right. Yeah, punched out. But we trying to get the AC fixed, man. The AC messed up on us, man. Yeah. But anyway, what I, I was going to ask you this too before you go, punch. Say, man, and, and yeah, I'm going to hey, say this, man. No, oh, pop to the hand like he be right back. I'm gonna say this too real quick while I got punch you on the phone because I know you're gonna love this punch. Let me tell y'all something, man. What happened? And, I, and me and my dad had this discussion yesterday, man, for real. Ain't no way in the world I'm Kevin Hart and I'm worth a hundred million dollars and I'm apologizing to nobody. I don't care, wife. <laughs> punch. Listen here, man. He's sale. Hey, man, listen, man. You know, why, honey, you know why Kevin Hart apologized? Yeah. You know, hey, hey, you know why he apologized, homie? Because he might have forgot to sign that prenup. I don't even with that, though, Punch. Listen, I told my dad this yesterday, man, for real, right now. You let me win $100 million. You let me win $20 million. I'm going to tell him to give me two checks, man, one for me and one for Queen. I'm going to try to negotiate with the second check. If I, if I can hold some of that second check back, you know what I'm saying? If I don't have to give it a whole check, I am. But I'm going to go on and cash out that other check, man. You feel what I'm saying? Because I'm telling you right now, I'm just not going to be able to do it, punk. <laughs> hey, hey. hey. Yeah, we, we can paid still paid. be together. We can still uh, we can yeah. play married. We can do all of that. You know what I'm talking about? We can, we, we, can play we, can, we can do all that. But I'm not finna, I'm not doing no more explaining. I'm not doing hey. none of that, punch. I'm telling you. Hey, all bullshit aside, I ain't yeah. doing no experience right now. And I'm broke as a motherfucker, man. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I, I, I ain't hey, explaining shit. Tell, tell Pop what you just said, Punk, because that's what I told you. Hey, Pop, man, I, I'm broke as a motherfucker right now, man, and I ain't explaining to no motherfucking body, Pop. <laughs> no. <laughs> Nigga, my yeah. wife know what it was. My wife knew what it was 20 years ago when she took me from my other three baby mamas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Either you in or you out, nigga. Fuck it. Because all this up in here, hey, every day I get here, this is mine, goddammit, nigga. <laughs> I ain't sharing shit. I ain't splitting shit. Nigga, if, you, if I think you deserve that, you can take that with you. But yeah. other than that, ain't no way, Pop. I'm and we saying, work too punk, hard, man. Kept, we, I, I know kept, I do. I work hard, man. I take out, care. Man. I got a lot. I'm, I'm not doing saying, none of they that. Got, they got they got Kevin Hart laid out apologizing, man. How you gonna apologize that you worth a hundred million dollars, man? Man, see, a a a sale, it, that's what they supposed to have. They no. listen. They supposed to have on four five videos going wild. No, she is. Yeah, but he probably paying them. And they never extort me to pay a motherfucking thing, Albie. Yeah. I'm not gonna pay. Not I'm gonna put my own video out there and get some money off the video. No, he apologized <laughs> to his wife because he got caught. Pop talking about it. But you see how fine yeah, his wife yeah. is? I wouldn't give a he damn. Works. He, but he might still love his wife, though. You know what I'm saying? So maybe that's why he says sorry. Well, but he's pregnant. Still no, no. He's still... I, I tell you, see, this old boy here crazy. No, I ain't crazy. I'm just telling you the real. I told you. Now, that, woman went, yeah, that woman went up in there with the judge. The judge looked at that woman. See how that, well, that woman looked, and the woman got her belly all out. And, and she out there crying and hand on about how he did her. Yeah. And how that's going to affect her and the yeah. baby and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Everything he got, the judge going to give it to him. Listen here, man. Listen here. Yeah. Listen. Hey, 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 Pop, I believe that. I believe that.
but punch. I'm Kevin Hart, man. I can give you that heifer and start. What I'm saying, though, this is what I'm saying, punch. What I'm saying is because well, you know, you know what they I'm say saying. about a woman scorn. They sell. They sell. You know, they say a woman scorn is the worst thing in the world, homie. She don't want half, nigga. When she hurt, she want it all. Yeah, what I'm talking about. Listen here, man. Uh, even, the court, look, even, nigga, the court, hey, even the court ain't gonna give her all the court gonna leave me something to start over with, man. man oh, uh, nigga, you ain't nigga. The court don't never leave none of our niggas when they get their paychecks, nothing to work with when they get them for the child support. Hey, nigga, they, 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 <laughs> nigga, I know niggas right now, nigga, make make seventeen, eighteen hundred dollars, nigga, every two weeks, and nigga, they check be four hundred and eighty dollars. <laughs> Yeah, nigga, they take nigga, nigga, they take whatever they want to from us, homie. They take oh. what they want from us, and you, hey, sell. You know what you gonna have to do? You gonna have to walk into court pregnant, nigga, and tell them fuck <laughs> queen, <laughs> judge. I'm pregnant, judge. Fuck that. <laughs> that's what you gonna have to do, nigga. You gonna have to be the one that's pregnant, nigga. I'm Listen, telling man, you. All I'm saying, punchy. I'm just telling you some real shit, baby. Ain't no way in the world, man. I'm telling you, ain't no way in the world. I'm worth a hundred million dollars, and I'm on Instagram apologizing, man, for no sex video, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, hey, man. He, what he had to do? He, hey, sell you. One thing I know, he did that for a reason. You know what I'm I mean? Saying? He did. We don't, hey, we don't know what his reason is, but he did that for a reason. And you know that, man. That nigga ain't no dumb nigga. Yeah. Well, apparently he, he is. He got, no, but apparently he is. He got caught on video. Nigga, you remember that first? Hey, remember that first year I came out there with you, nigga? When I first ran back into you out there, what was that? Oh, when was that, Sal? The first time I came to Atlanta. Oh three, oh two, oh three. Oh no, 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 no. Oh six. No, Atlanta, nigga. When I first came to Atlanta, when was that? That's 06, 07. That's when Breed had their second and third anniversary, right? Oh, do you know how many motherfucking videos they could have got on me back then? I was <laughs> posing for them bitches. Man, I love it. <laughs> hey, man. I, when I was in that Blue Flames, homie, I seen four or five girls in there, nigga. They could have tried to extort me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because they had action at the Fat Bad, homie. It, was some, it just be some pretty ass women out there, bro. <laughs> nigga, Kevin Hart, nigga, he a man just like us, nigga. Hey, homie, man. So that's that, what, that's, hey. Okay, so so that's what I'm trying to tell you. That's why I told my dad. When they give my lotto check, go on to cut mine in half right off the rip, man. I don't care. Go on to cut it in half. I'm going to take the other half. You and try cut to it in half as soon as you win it, though. You, you got to cut it in half before you nigga catch you, nigga, yeah, yeah. nigga with, uh. Yeah, go ahead. To give it up before you get busted. But that's Once you get busted, nigga, you got to give up everything. Listen to what I'm saying. That's what I'm trying to tell you, man. From the beginning, right off the rip, give me two, cut that in half, make that two checks. I'm going to take the check that's supposed to go to her. I'm going to try to negotiate some of that back on my end. You, you feel what I'm saying? I'm oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, I feel you, man. Yeah, yeah I got you so now, Steph. You're going to give so up, gonna, give up half right off the dribble yeah. when she get her half. Before you get busted, Queen, let me borrow 100000 Let me borrow 200000 that's how, you, yeah, you're right, you're right. So listen to what I'm saying, though, Punch. But what I'm saying is this, too, this is the other part. So now, listen, we can still live together. We still married, not on paperwork. We just going to be, you know, we just living in the same house. We still, you know, getting down. We still hanging out and all that. But understand this. Ain't no more questions being answered. Ain't no more curfews being, ain't none of that on, on my end. Now, you get busted, that's your ass. Get out, be gone, boom, I holler at you. Yeah, okay, because I'll wait for you to say that, though, because cause you know us, homie. I'm, I'm a real nigga, man, and I keep it 100. Yeah. And I, I do my thing and whatever it is. But boy, 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 any of my bitches think they're going to do their thing, homie, you out, bitch. Get it, baby. <laughs> nigga, I'm an Indian giver, Samoan giver, nigga giver. I want it all back. Every all of them. <laughs> I ain't going for that, Sam. I'm telling you, man. That's what I told Pop, man. Pop talking about, man, we we should we too old for that. I said, no, sir, man. Have you seen? No, sir, Pop. Have you, I told Pop, you I said, Pop. Pop. You, it, you ain't no him, too I, old till they throwing that dirt over your ass. Hey, man. I told him, I said, Pop, 
the way that they migrate these bras now, the way they mix it on with a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of caramel, shit. I ain't gonna even put pop. I ain't gonna even put pop on blast because mama might be standing in the background and hit that <laughs> nigga with a skillet. <laughs> All right, okay. Y'all talking all this smart talk. Hey, man, I'm just telling you right off the rip, man. I ain't got no problem with paying. Cause like I told Pop, man, if I win twenty million to check the check sixteen, I got to get Queen eight punch. I went from zero to eight million. Do I give a damn, man? Okay, well, you know, y'all talking. Oh, about hell no. You know what it makes me it make me realize? Remember what? Uh, what is that? That 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 when uh, uh, who was that? Uh, what's the boy's name that that do that? Which one? Uh, Call him like, Bee. oh, <laughs> you're talking about that. You talk about Keenan Kim, Keenan and Phil. Yeah, you see that one punchy where the old boy say, it's, it be, uh, it's the Keenan Pell skit where they, they him and his boy talking. And he told his boy, Yeah, man, last night I called one house and called my wife a bitch. He said, You called her a bitch. He said, Yeah, I called her. Bee. He whispered, it. He don't want her, to <laughs> but he acting like he, look, he acting like he done called her the B word for. I gotta send it to you so you can see it, man. It's off the you chain, see, man. I'm just telling you. That's all right. I, I understand y'all talking all this hey, fun talk right now, but that just shows me that, that, that yeah, you get in front of them women, and I want to see you talk that smart ass talk. You get in front of these women. Hey, man. They talk like you're talking right now. Listen here, man. Yeah, I ain't got yeah. no problem. I love mine today. Hey, like yeah, both of y'all be looking around. <laughs> but I'm just trying to tell you, you give me anything that look like money, the rules change, man. Yeah, okay. Drastically. Hey, 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 pop, hey, pop. I ain't. I I always try my best to keep it one hundred, on man. And I ain't never said I don't love my wife. I ain't never. I never say that because I do, you know. But I love my girlfriends too. <laughs> Shit, boy, stupid man. Man, you crazy. The ones, hey, pop. It's the ones that I like. You got God made all these women for. He made them. He made them so you can pick and choose. I'm fun. That's God, what I'm saying. God made all. He made all these girls for a reason, man. They need us. Mm, mm, mm. All right, all right. I understand. They get go right on the head, like I say. Y'all getting rid of them women? <laughs> <laughs> he said, hey, we, hey, he said hey, we get in front of women. We wear hey, them, pop, these women need us. Uh, yeah, you're talking all that smart talk right now, but you get in front of that woman. And I guarantee you, it ain't going to be all like hey, what you're doing pop. right now. You're talking all that smart talk. Hey, right Pop, now. you might need to go. You get in front of that woman. I want to see you. Hey, Pop, you might need to go. Ask... Hey, you might need to go and ask Mama, can you come on and play with me and Phil, Pop? <laughs> I'm gone. I'm out. He go. Oh, hey, oh, Pop scared. Pop, you scared. I'm Pop. <laughs> Pop say he go, man. So listen here, man. Real quick, I got I got everybody over here. So punch, we got the cruise coming up, man. We got you taken care of, man, for the cruise, man. It's gonna be your first time on the boat, huh? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. No, I've been I've been on. I don't think you you in and out of focus. Yeah. yeah. Hey, look. You in? Yeah. I've been on one cruise before, like probably about probably about fifteen. No, no, probably about twenty years ago. I went on a cruise for seven days. Okay. Nigga, that them mm. first three days, nigga, they found me on the promenade deck. Nigga, I had the rope help in my vomit. Nigga, I was fucked up. I was, I was fucked up bad. You know? <laughs> but we're going to have a hey, ball I'm... on this one, man. We're going to have a ball on this one, man. Hey, also, I'm going to ask you about this, man. So what do you feel about everybody boycotting the, the, the Super Bowl or, or Jay-Z not doing the halftime show? I mean, that's cool. To each his own. Shit, I'm going to be somewhere watching the game. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. I ain't mad at you. You, you. Remember what we always say, bro? You can't be mad at none of these dudes for what they want to do. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. You got a letter. I told this little big head motherfucker cut this damn fan off before he leave. Fuck, I'm going to fuck your nephew up. Man. I'm going to fuck Deesky up, man. No, you ain't. No, you ain't, man. I'm just no, playing. No, I'm just... Anybody upstairs? Think I'm turning the alarm on, motherfuckers. <laughs> Uh, 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 what they got going on tonight? Tonight is uh, what are they doing tonight? Oh, they have Magic Wheels tonight, huh? I don't, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I know. Uh, I think they have Magic Wheels tonight. Um, Snowman, he was in, in. He got a late start yesterday, so he said he gonna ride all night. Where was he at? He just left. <clears throat> Snowman, it was yesterday, probably. I know Dirty left. I know Dirty left this morning. And uh, he, wherever he was, Cell, he was just getting to Memphis. Oh, okay. he was going through Memphis when I talked to him. Say, man, we done lost my man Punch, man. What up, Twitch man? What up, Chris? Hey, I'm just telling you, man. I'm telling y'all right now, man. Let me tell y'all something, man. A hundred million dollars? I ain't apologizing to no wife, no children, no in newborn in the belly, or none of that little sugar. Understand me. I just ain't going to be able to do it. I'm a hundred million dollars. It's almost like, I'm just going to tell you like this. It's almost just like this. Obama is better than me, but see, Obama had Michelle, so... Obama had Michelle, so understand this. If y'all think the president ain't supposed to get his dicks up, or supposed to get him a little head and, and a little, you know, bomb down a little side piece or something, y'all crazy as hell. Man, that's the president of the United States. That's the most wanted dick in all the world. And if it's a female, if it ever become a female, which we might get one one day, that's going to be the same thing. What up, Sunshine? <laughs> I'm just saying, if we get a female, it might be one one day. So that's going to be the most wanted pussy. If y'all don't think that that pussy supposed to have a party, and she the president of the United States, if y'all don't think that dick supposed to be tricky as the president of the United States, y'all crazy as hell, man. Like I say, I'm just telling you some real shit, man. I, if I get anything that look like, if I win a lotto for $20 million and the payout was $16 million, they got to give me two checks for $8 million. One for Queen, one for me. And I'm going to try to negotiate some of the eight back. But if she say I need the whole eight, then she get the whole eight. Ain't no issue because I need her to understand. From this day forward, all questions, uh, the, uh, uh, all that other shit is out the window. Don't listen here, man. If you knock me before you enter, man. Yeah, I get $8 million. If I get yeah, if I get $800,000, knock before you call before you come home and knock before you enter. Or be prepared to join in or whatever the fuck it is that you're going to do. Now, understand this. That's my if, if you can't handle it, take your little bread and get on. But I'm telling you, we'll be better off still together. We, we, you know what I'm saying? We'll still be better off together. But Because yeah, if I come home and catch a nigga in the house, I'm, I'm killing your dead. It's just, it's just straight D-E-A-D. -E Period. Kevin Hart to chump. $100 million, I would be in the replay. That's what I'm talking about. Immediately, wild child. Immediately. I'm telling you. It's just, just, it's just that simple for me, man. For real, it's just that simple for me, man. What up, Anthony? What up, Will? What up, Samita? Uh, Samita, Samito, Jane? I'm not doing no apologizing. Ain't on Instagram, none of that, bitch. Do you? I'm Kevin Hart, bitch. Okay, so you you saw the video? Did you see how I fucked the shit out there, bitch? You saw it? You saw I got out? You you on next? Yeah. Okay. You you good? Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Man, please. I tell y'all, don't, nah, no, sir. Not going to be, at all, not going to be able to do it. Mm -mm. Right now, I mind and obey right now. I mind and obey right now. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying we trying to make it together. And even if we make it, we going to get it together. I'm, like I said, if I win a lotto, give me two checks, please. Because that didn't happen. Let me get two of those checks, please. One for her, one for me. Like I said, I'm going to try to negotiate some of that, you know, some of that back in it. You know what I'm saying? I got, instead of the whole eight, I got five, five point five for you right now. Cash you on out right now, man. Cash you on out right now. You feel what I'm saying? But if she say, no, I want the whole eight, here you go. Boom. Now you got that. We divorced legally. We separated. Now, we still together. We still living in the same house. We still fucking. 
we still sucking, you still my boo, you still on my arms, you feel what I'm saying, when I need you and all that, but understand this. Sometimes I won't be coming home for weeks at a time. Sometimes you might be seeing some shit on Facebook or a picture here or a video there. Just know I'm going to try my best to respect you at the utmost level. You understand me? At the utmost level. But if and something do come your way, you understand what I'm saying? Just I'm, I'm giving you fair warning. Now, if you say, no, that's you can't handle it, we totally separated, and it was fun, I loved you, I'm always love you, I'm going to be there for you. You know what I'm saying? And, and it is what it is. But you'd be better off on my team. Trust me. Trust me, I'm saying. Because I already know. Yeah, y'all find out Queen got 8 million. All of you niggas that's. That was interrupting my feet. Anyway. So, I love y'all, man. It's been fun, man. My man, Big Punchy, that's what we're going to be on the cruise with me. It's still time to book your cruise, man. Hit up Carla. Hey, there go the queen. There go the queen, man. You just missed it. We were just talking about you. Hey, shoot. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, love. Hey, boo. Yeah. I was telling him I'm going to cut your check, buddy. I was telling him I'm going to cut your check, buddy. For real, I'm going to cut your check, buddy. I'm going to cut your check, buddy. See if I can get the queen and queen on here, buddy, real quick. This ought to be interesting. I know y'all won't want to see this one. Can you talk, Queen, or they got you in the dungeon? What up, little show? What's up? You gonna cut a check for what? No, 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 no. We were just talking about, you know, if I win a lot on your half, that's all. Yeah, okay, yeah, cut my check. <laughs> cut me the check. Yeah. Yeah, I told him I told him I'm gonna cut your check. We still gonna be together, but you're gonna have some understanding though. Yeah, when I get a check. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. See? See, I'm, I told y'all, man. I got this shit. Listen, man. I told y'all already. Yeah, I know some bullshit in there, though. I know some bullshit somewhere. I'm going to have to go back and look at it. <laughs> yeah, I know some bullshit somewhere. Why I got to be the bullshit, man? I do, because you were bullshit. No, man. I'm just saying, man. I'm a, oh, you, hey, man. Come on, Troy. Come on, watch out. Knock it off, man. What do you do? What do you say? Because I know some I bullshit. I know some bullshit. I ain't switched up nothing, man. You feel me? Ain't nothing been switched up, man. You know what I'm saying? Man. I thought it was some bullshit. You, you know, threw my little name out there. That's cool. Just one uh, thing. Remember this. Remember this one thing. Hold on, with could that? Here he is. What you want me to remember, man? What you want? Remember what up, this one thing. What up, hypnotic? What up, Glenetta? They say you yeah. should. You sold. They say you show swapped up on me. No, it's I ain't cool. switched up. But uh, what up, Roland? Don Shaw. What up with it, by Stacy? We'll walk it no. So what, what what you want me to remember, little sir? Just remember, you ain't got how many options you got? Oh man, I got a couple of options, man. A couple what, what's, options. Nah, what's your options? I got a couple of them. So what's no, what is your option? What's the deal? Huh? I put in the, what are your I, options? I got a couple I got a couple of them, don't I? What what are they? Uh there wasn't any there. I got a couple of them. What are they? You know what they is? Say it. Don't the bottom of it. Say it. So you talk about the trash boss up and say it. Well, I'm going to say what? What are your options? What are they? A bag or a box. Those are my options. You already know. That is it. So when you go in the box, that means you you die gracefully and peacefully. If you go in the bag, you know you gonna fuck hey, up. Say Chris, I do what I Chris, do. Chris, say Chris. Ain't nobody changed up nothing, Chris. Hey, but y'all need to cut that out, buddy. You feel me? They talking about I changed up, buddy. Hey, yeah, man, I know what? you did. I know you did. I'm gonna go back and watch it. I know you did. Hey, man, ain't nobody hey, pushed you up. Hey, I'm gonna take you to lunch. Am I coming to take you to lunch? You treating? I'm. Yeah, I'm you treating? I'm on my way. Yeah. Okay. Hey, come on, sales. Hey, but y'all crazy, man. They talking about going sales, sales. Say, bye. Go on and say it. Say what you was going to say. Say, well, say what you said man, earlier. Listen, all I'm saying, man, if I hit the lotto, they got to make it two checks, man. I'm going to go and cash y'all. Cash y'all out, bye. Yep. Yeah. I'll take my, um, I'm going to need my 75%. 75%? Hold on, man. Yeah. yeah that's the way. Hey, you say you're going to cash me out. Man, you can get to 50, but you ain't getting no 75, man. You 65. Get to 50. No, ma'am. 
we, I'm we at 65 cents. We, we, well, I'm going, going down, going down to 45. Hey, man, you going down to 45, man. Keep on, man. 40. You're going to nah. be down to 45, 40, man. 65. I'll take 60. Okay, 60, 40. I'll take 60. You take 40. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Now, remember now, you don't want me to do you like that. So, be acting like if you win, it's the same thing. I don't. We going to. It's the same thing. We married. Yeah, I'm just saying. So, we ain't going to be talking all that 64. We're going to do 50, 50, baby. No, it's 60, 40, homie. Look here, man. Well, it's time for you to go. Ain't you at work, babe? I am. You did you invite me on here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You at work. How many inmates? You up to 84. You ain't down there misabusing no inmates, are you? Huh? Oh, you you let me find out you let me find you down there abusing some of my comrades when you get home, but you know what I'm talking about? Hey, hey you know what, Andre? They say you so down. So what was you saying? Hey, so you on hey, here popping? No, you man. Look at me, I love you. You got to get back to work. Catch you, catch oh, okay. you on the, yeah, catch you on your, yeah, so, see, man, listen, I don't need y'all on there with the bull crap, babe. You feel me? I don't need y'all on there with the bull crap, babe, for real. Yeah, let me, hey, wild child, where you at, babe? But Houston, babe. Yeah, let me get you over here, babe. Yeah, answer your invite, wild child. What up with it, babe? Who else on here, babe? What up, Court? <laughs> hey, babe. Hey, <laughs> hey, man! <laughs> Say, man, you supposed to stand up, man. <laughs> man, I stood up, man. What you talking about, man? <laughs> man, that lady got on. That lady got on that man. You just straight went crawfish, man. Hey, <laughs> man, I told you hey, to have the check. You go get a half the check, man. Say, hey, why you say? It? Hey, you say, uh, you say, uh, anything over 50 is a declaration of war. <laughs> Automatically, man. <laughs> I I'm agreeing, I'm agreeing to the 50 off the real. Uh, 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 hey, man. I ain't hey, see, man, to argue the 50, man. Hey, she read that comment. She say, oh, what you got to say? Stand up. <laughs> you need to stand up. <laughs> What? <laughs> hey man, how y'all hanging down there? What? How y'all hanging down there in Houston, man? Oh man, it's all, it's all, it's all good. Everything kind of, everything kind of, everything kind of straightening up and shit. Yeah. Everything, yeah, everything straightening up. A whole hey, bunch, you know, a whole bunch of men. Y'all got a big weekend coming up in Galveston, don't you? Yeah, yeah, we got a big old thing there. I just got off the phone with the president down there. They got some things planned out and stuff, you know what I'm saying? You still, y'all still coming with the, uh, y'all still getting the beach house down there? You know, I don't know, man. I, I hope I hope they will continue that, but I don't know how they're going to do it. They should, they should. All of it was locked in before I left. Flacco? What about Flacco? I don't no, know. No, Flacco I'm said he was going Yeah, he said he was supposed to be uh, going to. Oh yeah. They talking about pops was right, you gonna be quiet. They talking about pops was right, you was gonna be quiet when Queen come out. I was not quiet. I said what I said. What I said was she was gonna get half, man. You feel me? That's what I hey, said, man. man. Hey man, you had you had everybody behind you just now, man. You supposed to stir it up for us, man. <laughs> hey, That's I said, man, this nigga done start crowd fishing like a boy. That's a man <laughs> Hey, he did one of them more. Hey, man, y'all come on out the bushes. They done caught us, huh? Y'all come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> I say, I did one of them more. Y'all come from on out the bushes. They done caught us, huh? Come on yeah. out the bushes. They done... <laughs> did, <laughs> did everybody set, everybody setting up that talk about, say it, say it, say it. <laughs> <laughs> man, you got, when you had forehead on here, you had, you had fats on here. I'm like, man, say, man, you. <laughs> I say, I hey, thought, man. man, tell that nigga to say it, Fats. <laughs> Boy, look at oh, uh, Look at yeah. Stacey. Stacey's talking about you, Mister. Hey, Stacey, y'all need you over here with the foolishness, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's all you said, man. I, hey, listen, what I said, Switch Man, was if I hit the lotto, she get fifty percent, man, and that's it, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't asking no questions. 
None of that. That's what I said, man. That's what she. You just heard her say. Yeah, but, I, but I, but I, but I ain't gonna lie. Just like Punchy was saying, man. You know what I'm saying? A man just like a man with all of us, though. But I think they mostly be worried about their image and shit, right? But man, a hundred million, and you don't want to be there with me, man. Look here, man. If I, hey, hey, if I, hey, look here, man. I'm in the replacement game. I'm gonna give you four. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna give you five, ten million. Go ahead on. I'm gonna keep the baby. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna let yeah. you go. No, I'm gonna leave you with something. I ain't gonna even leave yeah. you. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you with something your whole life behind that. You know what I'm saying? But you think you could have take this hundred million with an apology, and you got a whole nother thing coming. You can bust your album back and get in the way for me. I'm just trying to tell you, man, I'm not gonna be able to apologize for nothing. Yeah. I this okay. Is that look here is, is, listen, is, is, you saw the video, right? You on next? That's <laughs> if you on next, that would be I can do yeah. <laughs> Cause I'm telling you. Hey look, hey, look. Out, of all that, out, of all that, out of all this company, that was the most funniest thing that nigga said. Apology. Crazy mother. <laughs> Ain't no way. I don't, I don't understand. They don't say they don't apologize when they mess up. Shit. Man. Like I said, man, if you think that I'm worth a hundred million dollars and the baddest bitches in the world ain't trying to suck my dick, you crazy, not me. Yeah. Yeah. See, now see Queen, now see Queen go to slide up in the listen, 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 just like this, just like she was worth a hundred million dollars, I got a role to play. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm going to play my role. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to get to drive the Bentley, the Rolls Royce. I'm going to get to live in the house and all that. You feel what I'm saying? As long as, long as she ain't all the way disrespectful with it, you know what I'm saying? Because it ain't going to go down and out. Now, if you, got, you, you know, you out there in the bottom, then that's your thing. Yeah, I'm gonna play my role. I'm gonna play my role. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, but he really on the cool though. He probably went somewhere, got cold out of line, like a mother didn't know how to come up out of it though. You know what I'm saying? And I understand all the part about she pregnant and this and that. There. Okay, well you know your manly duties that you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? But man, get up here and embarrass yourself, man. You know what I'm saying? Who to say? Man, look here. If they say they like Usher and they ain't never met Usher in their life, that's a form of cheating to me. You shouldn't have said that. Yeah, that's the part. Yeah, that's the part of So, who would say they're more different than us? They, I mean, they just as slick as us. It's just how you secure your business, man. You know what I'm like saying? My boy, they're like my boy said. His woman ain't allowed to take selfies because she needs to know I'm always, I'm always with her, man. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, for real. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes, sometimes you can be always with me and it still don't do enough. Look at I, you, I, 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 queen, know. you listen. To Still, if you Queen, if you if, if you listening, Queen, understand this. If you hit the lottery first, you can give me my half, and we still gonna be together. We still gonna love on each other. We still gonna be cool. And when you go out of town, I'm gonna be at the house chilling. Ain't gonna be no bitches over there. Nothing. I didn't say that I ain't gonna be doing me. I'm just telling you, I'm gonna uphold what we got. You understand what I'm saying? Now, if I hit the lotto, it's the same thing, little sugar. I'm gonna cut you half your check. We're going to still be together. We're going to still live in the same. We're going to do all of that. I'm just saying. So, but if you if, if, if you think I'm crazy enough to believe that you worth $100 million and these old slim, eight and six pack having ass niggas, old long dick ass, they, all the rest of these niggas, they finna be well, at you your stupid. Well, you stupid. <laughs> hey, if you think I'm crazy enough not to believe that, they're going to have dicks looking like chocolate snicker bars and you ain't going to want to stick a bunch of <laughs> <laughs> hey, right, but, hey. but you know what? You know what? Say though, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna play around with you. You win, oh, if a, if a person win a lottery on me, yeah, I don't even want half. I don't want seventy five. Give me one million, and I'm gonna show Ooh. you what, what's gonna happen in a matter of months. <laughs> there it is. Then it's gonna happen in a matter of months. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm, gonna catch, I'm gonna catch you so fast, it's gonna be unreal. Cause you you win the lottery, you're gonna be spinning so fast, so I'm gonna be building. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do my thing. I'm saying I, I got a game plan with it, but all I'm saying, man, all I'm saying yeah. is this, man. I'm just telling you some real talk, man. The president, if y'all don't think, listen, if y'all don't think Obama wasn't supposed to get his dick up. Even with even with Michelle, as fine as she was right there, y'all dumb crazy, dog, you crazy, <laughs> you, you dumb crazy. dog. Listen, that listen, man. 
Wild Child, that's the number one dick in the nation. The number one dick in the nation, homie. But you man, dumb, man. Man. <laughs> man, listen, man, them hoes is trying. They done came up with every trick they can to get their mouth on that dick. And he posted to get it. That's all part of my that's all part of my perks, man. That's all part of my perks, man. You feel me? It was all perks, man. You feel me? Man, this is the cold part about it. If, if, if you president of the United States, man, all that, man, I'm, I'm the number one man. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Come on, Michelle. Yeah, I Come on, Michelle. I ain't gonna cheat on you. We just gonna cheat together. <laughs> hey, Queen, hey, Queen talking about how she gonna be a widow with all that money. Look at everybody. <laughs> yeah. so, 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 Queen, you telling me, Queen, you telling me. Oh, here, right there. Queen, you telling me right now. I'm worth a hundred million. You can't even, I mean, I'm I'm controllable now, and I'm broke. Yeah. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. I got you. I love, and I ain't saying that I'm going to stop loving you. We're going we gonna, to we gonna kick it, man. We're going to kick it. We're going to do all of this adventure, travel the world, ride motors. We're going to do all of that. But all I'm saying is this. Sometimes I might not come home every night. That's all I am. Every <laughs> night I just might not make it. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> <laughs> hey man, boy, they go have a, boy, she gonna have a special bullet with your name on it, boy. <laughs> I'm just saying, if keeping it real is gonna get me killed, then so be it. Then I deserve every bullet I yeah, get. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right about that. Let me, let me tell y'all something. Uh, uh, some of y'all, listen. Some of y'all, if the side niggas step up and say, "Yeah, y'all niggas is out of here," and and he just as broke as you. <laughs> 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 if if he mess around and hit the uh, hit the floor to song, all you gotta do is say well, you, well, you, open up your well, you're, a hand, you're a handful, man. <laughs> I'm just, yeah. I'm just telling well, you, you handful, yeah. Hey man, for some of y'all ain't even about the money. She gonna leave your ass. All he gotta do is say, Come on. Man. <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to say yeah. so some of you Talking about mine ain't going nowhere. You let her win some money, man. You let her, you let her win a substantial amount of money, some meal tickets or something else, man. Your ass is out of it. I mean, yeah. Now you can stay and play by the rules. That's what you better do. And enjoy the benefits. Yeah. Get to ride around the car. What up, Teresa? Get to riding around the cars. And you know what I'm saying? Get the little jewelry to put on, the fresh kicks and all that. And do your thing. You know what I'm saying? But if you get to pressing the line on anybody that got some money, your ass gonna be put out of line. That's what you're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real though. That's straight up, man. Hey, what up, Twain? Hey, man. Yeah, that's hey, real. That's that, that's that's real talk man. though. Yeah. What you been doing down there, man? Man, I ain't been making no noise, man. Been doing a lot of traveling, man. I'm supposed to be in California this weekend, man, for smiling them thing, but it's rough on your boy, man. For real, it's rough on your boy. But smiling don't want to hear that. He, you know, he ain't trying to yep. hear none of that. So I'm. Still, yeah, still, still trying to make it. Yeah, but y'all around the world enough for to understand that part, though. You gotta take yeah. care of your business before you get. Hey, man, mother, I don't know that road costs, man. It ain't even so much that my bike is down, so I gotta get a new motor on that. So I'm waiting on that to happen. Um, well, it's yeah, like that's all. Look good. That's all. Yeah, that's all, all that. All, 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 all that, all that star starter, man. You gotta get you a secondary bike, man. You know what I'm saying? You do too. You, you, you talk too much noise for you not to be on that ground. <laughs> Listen, to what I'm saying, man. I'm, I'm working on my tongue right now. I got a one bike tongue game. You know what I'm talking about? I got a one bike tongue game right now. I'm working on, I'm working on a two bike tongue game. I'm reading books and watching videos to step my game up to a two bike tongue game. You feel yeah. me? But right now, it just is what it is, man. You feel me? Okay. But anyway, man. Hey, man, but we love you down there, man. We're going to go and let you get on up over here, man. But I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Understand this, man. I'm going to always keep it 100, man. Shit, money I already will, know. Money will change me, man. Bro, it's, the long money, way. Money. it's the long way with me, old boy. Hey, money will change me. I promise y'all. I'm telling you. Man. Well, shit, I get on Hey, man, I love you. Do your thing, man. Huh? Yeah, man. So it is what it is, man. I'm on for real, man. For real, for real, for real, man. Anyway, that's what it is, man. I hope y'all had a good time this morning, man. Uh, <laughs> Queen, hear me out, Queen. Hear me out. Hear the whole story, man. I want to get on the ground. Hey, love y'all, man.
What up with it, King Nook? Yeah, man. Yo, bike down, Don Ray? Sorry to hear that, man. Ponto, what up with it, man? Anyway, man. Hey, Chris, I love you. See y'all in a minute, man. But, uh, real talk, man. Real talk, man. If you don't make it out here, hit me up. I will. I will, Creamy Cream. Love y'all, man. I'm going. It's your boy, Big Cell, F-H-O-H-N-I-C. Peace.